Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. For more information about the full line of Case IH equipment and how you can boost your productivity, visit CaseIH.com. Case IH, for those who demand more. There's a lot of equipment that can sit outside in the winter and there's really no problem, but when it comes to your sprayer, in today's Iron Talk we'll discuss how to winterize it. I'd really prefer if you have any piece of equipment that stays in the heated shed, there's probably not another machine out there that more can go wrong with than your sprayer by leaving it out in freezing conditions. So if you have an area to put the sprayer inside, that's a great deal. But you still should winterize that sprayer. Start out by cleaning thoroughly in the spray tank to make sure there are no chemical residues. The next step is to remove the strainers and get them clean. Wash them by hand and wash them thoroughly so that you do a really nice job so you can preserve them for next year. Next, look closely at the nozzles, the nozzle bodies, and the check valves. Clean them up, look them over for damage, and really when it comes to nozzles, if you haven't replaced them in the last year or so, you probably need to do it. I know it costs a little bit of money, but it costs nothing compared to doing a poor job spraying out in your field next year. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show. <music>